What are you gonna do? Knock my block off. <laughs> Welcome to Watch Mojo, and today we'll be counting down our picks for the top 20 WTF movie ideas. <laughs> For this list, we'll be looking at films with the premises that are so strange, we almost couldn't believe it. That doesn't mean these movies are necessarily bad, but they're most definitely bizarre. Which of these movies made you go, is this for real? Let us know in the comments down below. Number 20, Iron Sky. In this very implausible future, Nazis fled to the moon after the war in 1945 and waited there in secret before returning to Earth in 2018. We figure if there can be movies about Nazi vampires and Nazi raptors, there could be a movie about Nazis in space, right? Though the movie looks interesting enough, the lofty premise fails to hold it up. Despite receiving mixed critical reviews, an even wackier sequel title Iron Sky The Coming Race was crowdfunded and came out in 2019, offering up another space battle with Hitler, but now with shape-shifting reptilian creatures added into the mix. Bitte nicht, nie wieder, nie wieder. Bitte auf. Number 19. Teeth. Teeth is a black comedy about a woman who has teeth embedded in her genitals and embarks on a quest to take vengeance on all the men who wronged her after she was assaulted. The idea of teeth in this area is actually present in several folktales around the world. For instance, in Shintoism, there is a demon that waits inside lady parts in order to emasculate young men on their wedding night. Overall, it's the visuals in this film that really take it to a whole new level of creepy. Number 18, Killer Condom. If it wasn't such a crazy idea for a film, Killer Condom might be taken as a cautionary tale against safe sex. The German film is based on the comic book translated as Down to the Bones in English. The movie premiered at Cannes Film Festival with a giant fang condom. It follows Detective Macaroni as he embarks on a quest of revenge against a condom that bit off, well, you can guess what, while also investigating multiple cases of this gruesome crime. Insane setup aside, the shocking scenes in this film are certain to leave a lasting impression. In Himmel gibt es keine Kondome, Dr. Hefflitz. Und schon gar keine, die zubeißen. Number 17, John Dies at the End. If you are into bizarre, psychedelic, sci-fi horror films, you'll like this one. The plot revolves around a drug called soy sauce, which causes its users to hallucinate and slip in and out of time. Maybe the strangest part of the movie is a scene where various pieces of meat come together to form a big monster. Yeah kinda like Voltron. The movie also features alternate dystopian realities, time travel, aliens, and general oddities. Seriously, this movie has it all. If you're into that kind of thing, no judgment. Yeah, I guess. Number 16, Soul Man. Having a protagonist that switch races is definitely a WTF concept. It's been done to some success in the film Sorry to Bother You, where we meet Cash Green, a black man who gets a job as a telemarketer and uses his white voice to make his sales calls. Tim, I want to chop it up more, but I got to get to my squash game. Was that Visa? or MasterCard. But this theme has also been done in less clever and certainly more offensive ways, like in the 80s comedy Soul Man. It's the Cosby decade. America loves black people. Mark Watson attempts to pass himself off as African-American to qualify for tuition subsidies at Harvard Law. That's more than a bit racist. One good thing this film has going for it is the appearance of James Earl Jones. So there's that. An unfortunate situation has come to my attention, one that is of particular concern to the black students here at the law school. Aside from cringy jokes, defenders of Soul Man claimed it had some serious and thought-provoking commentary on race relations in the United States, but its critical lashing seemed to say otherwise. Number 15, The Lobster. The plot of this dystopian comedy thriller revolves around a hotel where people are forced to find romantic partners within 45 days or are transformed into animals. The film's main character named David has decided to be transformed into a lobster if he doesn't find a partner after being recently dumped. His dog is actually his brother because the residents must match up based on some sort of commonality. David goes through several ordeals trying to pair with different women. Nominated for Best Original Screenplay at the Academy Awards, this movie is well made and offers a seriously strange plot. I just miss you because you were my one true friend. 
Are you gonna shoot me? I'm afraid so. Number 14. Trash Humpers, directed by Harmony Corinne. This experimental horror dramedy follows a group of elderly and deranged people living in Nashville, Tennessee. Shot on VHS home video, the film offers a look into the group's sexual obsession with garbage. These elderly people are shown living in squalor and being a general nuisance. With a 59% rating on Rotten Tomatoes, the consensus seemed to be that this film is either so bad it's good or so bad it's just bad. And know that I love you. Number 13, The Garbage Pail Kids Movie. Let's make some alligator shoes! Yeah! This movie isn't really for kids. In fact, we don't really know who it's for. A parody of the Cabbage Patch Kids, the Garbage Pail Kids movie is based on a series of trading cards. The film revolves around Dodger, a young kid working in an antique shop who is rescued from some ruffians by interplanetary creatures who arrive on Earth via flying garbage can. <laughs> it's too bad such cool cards had to go to waste on what critics would end up calling one of the worst movies ever made. Yeah, give him a chance, you like him. They made all the clothes you're so crazy about. Yeah. You bet your toes we did. Filled with all kind of weird and gross scenes, it's no surprise it was a box office bomb as well. Number 12, being John Malkovich. You can already assume that a movie will be unconventional when you find out it's about a puppeteer. The overhead is low. Written by the legendary Charlie Kaufman, this is easily one of his strangest films. The plot revolves around Craig Schwartz, who unexpectedly stumbles upon a portal into the brain of actor John Malkovich. After a few minutes, he is dumped out of the portal onto a New Jersey turnpike. Things get weird, as if they weren't already, when Craig learns to control John. If you're in the mood for a wild ride, check this one out for sure. Number 11, Sausage Party. Take us to the great beyond Where we're sure nothing bad happens to food Once we're out the sliding doors It might look like a Pixar movie on the surface, but the title sounds more like a gross-out comedy. And the final product is a twisted animated feature that's definitely not for the kiddies. Sausage Party imagines what it would be like if grocery store items were sentient beings. This all amounts to numerous bizarre scenarios, with one in particular that'll either have you laughing hysterically, squirming in disgust, or maybe a little bit of both. While the premise is totally insane, it actually makes leeway for some biting satire regarding religion, bigotry, and even steroid abuse. It's a surprisingly clever story, despite the WTF concept. Oh, what the f is this doing here? Oh yeah, bath salts. <laughs> Number 10, Attack of the Killer Tomatoes. What is it? Oh, <laughs> Attack of the Killer Tomatoes is one of those movies where the title speaks for itself. As you'd expect, the story here revolves around mutated tomatoes that are bent on conquering humanity. Why? Because that's just what killer tomatoes do, baby! The setup is basically an excuse to poke fun at low-budget B-movies, as well as classic thrillers like The Birds. It's obvious that nobody involved with this production was trying to be taken seriously. Attack of the Killer Tomatoes is unapologetically stupid, almost as if the filmmakers were making up the story as they went along. But just because the film is self-aware doesn't mean there's any less of the WTF factor to go around. Across this great nation, almost everyone has been affected in one way or another by this terrible tomato onslaught. Number nine, Pixels. I got this. If I don't, the world ends. Let's get this straight. Aliens discover video feeds of 80s arcade games and, for some inexplicable reason, assume this is a declaration of war. So these supposedly intelligent extraterrestrials travel all the way to Earth where they challenge mankind to an old school video game competition. Since the American military doesn't stand a chance against Pac-Man and Donkey Kong, for some reason, our only hope is in the hands of a bunch of middle-aged gamers. Oh, and Kevin James was elected president. So how did such a nonsensical film get made? Well, you can thank Adam Sandler's production company for that. Yeah, finish these. 
You're getting chubby. <laughs> Number eight, Sharknado. We're gonna need a bigger chopper. Sci-fi original movies always have preposterous setups, but Sharknado goes out of its way to be as ridiculous as possible. It appears hurricanes aren't deadly enough already. The filmmakers had to throw in a water spout that carries sharks out of the ocean and spreads them throughout Los Angeles. As if that's not crazy enough, this made for television movie also implies that you can stop a tornado with a bomb and survive after a shark swallows you whole. Something's on my foot! Vivi, help me! Vivi! Watch out! Believe it or not, star Tara Reid has actually gone on record stating there could be a Sharknado. Of course, Reid isn't exactly a scientific expert. In any case, we'll probably see pigs fly before this movie's premise becomes a reality. When pigs fly. <laughs> <laughs> That's a good one. Hey, hey, hey. Number seven, monster trucks. What are you? Remember that time when Mater literally transforms into a monster truck? Apparently somebody at Paramount found this joke so funny that they had to make a movie out of it. This film tells the classic tale of a boy and his subterranean beast. Since this mysterious creature can also function as an engine, it seeks refuge in a monster truck. The result is a puntastic title and a ludicrous premise. Hey, get back in there. As weird as the idea sounds, Maybe it makes sense from a marketing standpoint. After all, kids like monsters, kids like trucks, so why not bundle them both into one neat package? Number six, Theodore Ray. Fossils creep me out. Why is that? Oh, I can feel my ancestors, you know? It's hard to believe that this direct-to-video flick really exists. The story takes place in an alternate reality where people and dinosaurs coexist. Oscar winner and every Trekkie's second favorite bartender, Whoopi Goldberg plays a detective who teams up with a Tyrannosaurus to take down a madman. Now, there's a $30 million idea. Yep, someone actually ponied up $30 million to make this thing. Duh. It doesn't even sound like an actual movie premise. It sounds more like one of those fake trailers played at the beginning of Tropic Thunder than an actual movie. But alas, Theodore Rex is all too real. And okay. What is that smell? Is that you? It's not me, how could it be me? Number five, rubber. This is what our killer looks like. Tire. Exactly. The idea of a sentient car is kind of silly. You know what's even sillier though? A sentient car tire with psychic powers. And if that's not silly enough for you, the tire has a name, Robert. From the second you see Robert spring to life in rubber, it's hard not to laugh in disbelief. The story follows this little tire as it stalks a young woman, blowing up various animals and people along the way. Needless to say, this concept is beyond bizarre. But honestly, what do you expect from a movie that tells the audience up front that it exists for no reason? But all great films, without exception, contain an important element of no reason. Number four, Tusk. From the wild mind of the director behind Jay and Silent Bob, Tusk is brought to us by none other than Kevin Smith. Famously based on one of his podcast episodes, Tusk is all about Wallace Brighton, who goes missing in the boondocks of Manitoba while interviewing a strange and mysterious man. So far, this sounds like pretty normal stuff, right? Well, this movie takes a hard right towards weird when Brighton is slowly turned into a walrus before our eyes. <laughs> Oh, I missed you, Mr. Tusk. Between the visuals and premise, we're not sure if this was intended to be hilarious or horrifying, but we're leaning towards the latter. No! <laughs> Number three, Eraserhead. Oh, you are sick. How could we have a countdown like this without David Lynch? This director has given us some of the strangest movies of all time, but Eraserhead is his crowning achievement in the weird department. Uh, 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 You'll be all right in a minute. 
a body horror picture following a man with an outlandish hairdo who's left to raise a reptilian like creature that won't stop crying. Many believe that this film's premise is actually an allegory for a father's fear of parenthood. Much like a dream though, there are countless different ways you can interpret this surreal descent into madness. No matter what you take away from the story, Eraserhead will leave everybody asking the same question. what I just watch? I can't stand it, I'm going home. Number two, Swiss Army Man. You okay? Hello? Hey. After the Harry Potter movies wrapped up, the world wondered what Daniel Radcliffe would do next. However, it's safe to say that nobody expected him to play a farting corpse. In this outrageous indie flick, Paul Dano's Hank finds Radcliffe's dead body on a desert island. Utilizing the body as a multi-tool, Hank sets out on a journey about life, love, and friendship. We kid you not, that's the premise. Because I'm just a scared, ugly, useless person. Well, maybe everyone's a little bit ugly. Watching this story unfold, you'll wonder if you were watching a work of genius or the complete opposite. Either way, we can all agree that an idea like this can only come from somebody with a truly unique imagination. I have a lot of questions about all the things you just said. Before we continue, be sure to subscribe to our channel and ring the bell to get notified about our latest videos. You have the option to be notified for occasional videos or all of them. If you're on your phone, make sure you go into your settings and switch on notifications. Number one, the human centipede, first sequence. I don't like human beings. Simply hearing the synopsis for The Human Centipede is enough to make anybody's stomach turn. The plot centers on a German surgeon that kidnaps three victims and surgically connects them all together in a gruesome fashion. You're likely wondering how a cringe-inducing idea like this got financed. To answer your question, director Tom Six didn't pitch the whole premise to his potential investors. He told them that three characters would be joined together, but failed to mention the gritty details until the film was actually completed. It would seem their investment paid off though, since curious audiences had to see if this movie was as screwed up as it sounds. Did you enjoy this video? Check out these other clips from WatchMojo, and be sure to subscribe and ring the bell to be notified about our latest videos.